So it's time to see what we can get with very little work in Android. Uh, basic list view uh, with an array adapter. Right? And for this one, I'm just going to show you some code. We're not really going to do a code along or anything like that. I'll just walk you through some of the steps because they're, they're pretty simple. All right, so the first thing is uh, when I made this app here, I, I created a new blank activity. Uh, in content main, I replaced the text view with just a simple list view here. All right, so I gave it a list view and just gave it an ID right there. And that's going to take up the whole screen because it's the only thing in there since its width and height are going to match its parent. Um, in code, what happens then? A few few steps. Uh, first thing is, you might imagine, uh, if we want to do something with this list view, we're going to need to capture it. So you've seen this before. So I call find view by ID on this guy, cast it to a list view, and then I've got it, uh, got it to use. So pretty straightforward. Second thing is, is the adapter itself. And really, you only need a, a couple lines of code to, to make an adapter. Um, well, one line really to, to make the adapter here. Uh, here we're declaring a new array adapter, and we're saying that our data um, that's going to populate it is of type string. Right? Um, well, what do we need to tell the adapter when we make it? First of all, what's the context? Because it's going to be displayed somewhere, so this is uh, just in our activity. Uh, second, um, what layout are you going to use? And this is actually just a nice built-in, very, very simple layout. Um, so you can see instead of r.layout, it's android.r.layout. Uh, and it's for a simple list item one. I encourage you to type in android.r.layout dot and see what, what kind of things are out there. There's plenty, plenty of layouts built in. And then we need to give it our data source, which is simply just an array of names here. Right. And literally, that's, that's it. Right? Once you make the adapter, the only thing you need to do is to, is to um, bind the list view to that adapter. So you tell the list view and say, hey, your adapter is going to be this one that, that we just created here. Pretty straightforward. Um, most everything else that I created in, in code here is just for the array. Uh, so I made an array list of, of names, right? And I just uh, populated initially with five random names okay, that are here. And again, random names, um, you know, I just I just grabbed, you know, a, a, a whole bunch of names that were popular around the year 2000. Uh, girls and boys names. Uh, and then all I'm doing is is grabbing a literally a, a random one right out of there. So it's so no big deal. If we want to add a name, uh, it's also very simple. Um, so in my floating action button, what I did here is is in the click listener, I just said go ahead and, and add a name to this guy. And then the only other thing was that I need to tell the adapter that the data has been changed so it knows to update the view. And there's a, a method on any adapter that's called notify dataset change, right? appropriately named. And that's, that's going to do our updates for us. All right, let's take a look at it. Uh, so I launched this guy. So I got five random names. Uh, and I can click plus, And that will give me additional ones. Um, and if I keep, keep making names more of them than fit on here, they're added to the bottom. And you can see it kind of scrolls off the, off the top and the bottom. And it gives you a nice, nice little visual effect if you try to scroll too far. Uh, but really, that's that's all there is, right? So pressing on it um, is detected, but I haven't responded to it in any way. Um, so that's that's really um, something that we'll leave until later. So what's next uh, would be customizing the adapter, right? So so what else could you do? Um, array adapters are strings, like we did here. Um, super simple solution for some situations. Kind of a tongue twister there. Uh, what we want to do more commonly. Is, is get more general, right? So usually your data are not just a single string, but they're an object, right? And instead of just having you know, a, you know, a single line uh, layout, you want to have some kind of a custom layout. Maybe have some, you know, a picture or something like that that you want to put in an, or an icon. Um, you want things to show up you know, left and right. You want different fonts, all those different, different kind of things. And finally, um, your adapter uh, should actually manage the, the list, right? So, so inside the adapter is a good place to actually put your data. Um, your array list rather than that, that cluttering up the activity itself. Um, the solution for that is going to be to use um, not an array adapter, uh, but to go um, up a level, I guess, in, in the, the hierarchy and to extend our own base adapter. Right? And we'll do that in the next lesson. So see you later.